building over here that's just like completely run down. So I'm not alone. Ooh, look at this. Guys, look, wow. So I don't feel like fighting a crackhead right now. Aren't you a funky little guy? Welcome back to Rob's Cost, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing this abandoned golf course. But before we get into today's video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And let's get right into the video. So right now I'm sitting in my car because the rain's about to start. And also, because this place is kind of sketchy, the wind's super bad also right now. But this is basically what the entire golf course looks like. Everything about it is completely overrun. It's just completely decrepit. And over that way is the main building where the country club was and it's super super run down i'll show you guys it in a second but there's this little creek right here under the bridge that i found and one of my subscribers actually told me about this location and told me that you know there are actually cool fish here i don't know what yet because i haven't fished it yet but he says there's some cool stuff in these waters it's just kind of risky because a there's homeless people there's like there, it's just sketchy it's just weird overall and it's the rain starting to pick up so i'll bring you guys out into the creek once it passes over Nah, we'll go right now. <laughs> Over here, guys, there's this little creek down right here. And hopefully I don't get, you know, completely drenched. Hopefully the audio is good. There's an apartment complex right back here. So potentially people from this complex dump stuff in here. I'm not really too certain. But over here, guys, is this little bridge. There's a couple spots actually at this location that we could drop down and try to fish. But right now, guys, what caught my eye is this creek right here. Look, it looks pretty good. Like as far as like the water clarity goes, you know, there's algae. There's a lot of stuff for fish to be hiding under. What doesn't look good is just the condition of the water itself at this abandoned golf course. And then we look across the way, <laughs> rain is starting to come down. But right here, actually, when I first walked up to this place, I saw a snakehead in this water. So there could be also bigger predatory fish, but there's also a tunnel right down that way. Real quick before I start getting drenched, I'm gonna hide in the car a little bit. We'll do a quick little tour of the abandoned property itself and then we'll start fishing this place because it's very interesting. There's a lot of stuff for us to potentially fish for. A lot of like a lot of water on this property. So if I don't get kicked out or rained out, it's gonna be a good day. Although if you're seeing this, neither of those, those things happen for the most part, probably. But there's a trail that leads that way behind us and then over there now. We're probably gonna go over that way just because I've been there before. I know I won't get stuck, but I'll show you guys how I got in here in the first place now. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be running over here i'm not supposed to be over this way but the rain is about to start picking up so can't really fish much but this place is a super interesting abandoned golf course there's this building over here that's just like completely run down i might get out of the car over here and show you guys stuff but if you guys look this place is like completely run down it's pretty interesting i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pull back around Okay, we'll be good. Gotta be a little bit careful. And the reason why I'm in my car right now, because I have my camera and I don't really know what's happening over here. But look at this, guys. This place is pretty run down. I see lots of evidence of, you know, like homelessness. So odds, I've been hearing people talk the entire time I've been here. So I'm not alone. But yeah, the rain's really picking up. So. Just a quick little drive through. This place is super interesting. We'll probably start fishing it when the weather clears up, but there's people in there. The lights are on. So I don't know what's happening over here. It doesn't seem like there's any activity. Like this property has not been maintained for a long, long time. So, you know, it's gonna be very interesting spot to fish. There could be good potential as long as I avoid people. Look, this building right here is boarded up. The lights in this place are on, though, which is interesting. Like, there's people in here, so I gotta be very, very careful. You see all this garbage, evidence of people doing their thing, and then this garage is open. Very interesting spot, guys. So when the weather clears up, I'm able to fish this place. We're gonna get it done, and we're gonna try our best to catch some cool stuff. I do not know what's in these waters, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Gotta wait on the rain to pass. It's now the next day, guys, and I came equipped with a long telescope net and a trap. We're going to be sending both. The cop that screwed us over yesterday and got me too scared to fish, it was actually still here the following day. I just decided to risk it for the biscuit and just drive past them because I need to see if there's exotic fish in this canal. Like so I'm gonna get bait in here in a second, but real quick, guys, I just wanted to take this net out and try to see about netting up these little fish I could see in the creek right now. But I see a ton of little fish and this net is super fine. So if there's anything in here, we should be able to catch whatever. Oh no, there's spiders. There's a lot of spiders, but I think we caught some fry. This net is gonna be a little difficult 
to work with, but being that there's spiders in it, I'm kind of scared. But I don't think we got anything in this net. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. But this net is pretty sweet. You know, I assembled it myself, actually. It came in a couple parts, so it's super easy to store. We're just gonna work. I see a lot of little fish down here. I'm gonna get down here as well. There's a lot of nastiness in this canal. I'm not too sure how far up I could walk here, but you can see there's a lot of little fishes. I just don't know how well I'm gonna be able to catch them because they're very fast. Although we did get a few right here, so we'll check out what these are right now. This net being so long is, oh, what is that? This net being so long is gonna make it a little bit awkward to try to check it, but we'll make do. Try to shake them out a little bit. What is down here? Oh, we got a molly. Oh, whoa, what is this? Look at that. Huh, that's pretty cool. I don't know exactly what this is. It looks kind of like a minnow, but what species this is, I'm not too sure. We're gonna probably, I'm not gonna keep these guys because I can't put them in my tank, but let's see, we got this molly right here and that seems to be it. So we got a molly and one of these little fish. It could be a killifish, could be a danio even. Actually, I think that's probably what that is. Some pretty cool catches off rip though. Some little live bears. We're gonna get these guys back in the canal and we're gonna take a few more nets while I decide where to actually place our fish trap. We're gonna be putting cat food in it. As you guys know, that's my go-to, but Pretty hot start so far. We're gonna keep netting around and see what else we could pull up. When I first walked over to this side, I saw some larger cichlids in here, like mines and tilapia. So I'm kind of curious to see what we could possibly pull up from right here. Gotta be careful with this net. It's a little bit more delicate. And also, this stuff is really gross. You can see some trash, some pollution, some oil slicks. Not the best conditions of this water. But we'll see if there's anything in here. I'm actually really scared to touch this stuff. Looks so gross. Oh. There's another mosquito fish right here. We'll just throw him back. Anything, ew, ew, this stuff is gross. Not cool at all, but nothing in that net. Luckily too, with this pole net, I'll be able to reach across the canal as well. Be able to punch under it just like that. So we're gonna take a couple nets like this, see what comes up. Ooh, there's some bigger fish right there that just swam under that pipe. But right, we got this net right here. Pulled up a bunch of mud and stuff. So we'll see if there's anything cool in this. And then we'll probably set our trap after this net. Oh, ew. Oh, oh, look. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is really cool. <laughs> look, it's a tadpole. Look at the size of this. Oh, this is a monster bullfrog. That thing is huge. Okay, we're definitely gonna be putting him back. This is a native species. And look at this guy. A nice molly right here, guys. Look at the fantail on him. That is a beautiful fish. So we're gonna get both these guys in the canal. Looks like we got some little mosquito fish in here as well. Oh, oh, nice. Another super fat molly right here. Okay, so we got a couple species so far at this abandoned golf course. Nothing too, too crazy yet, just some normal stuff. Send them back on their way and they'll do fine. Look at them go. Big bullfrog. There's a lot of flow running through here, but there's a lot of little fish down here. So I'm probably gonna set it right under this bridge. The cat food is in the water now. So if they smell it, they'll start going to it. Well, actually they definitely will smell it. And I think I gotta set this a little bit deeper. So now the trap is set guys. I got some cat food in there. So whatever's around will smell and definitely go over there. And we're gonna use this right here. This rock as the anchor, just in case the flow picks up and tries to take the trap away. But now that the trap is set, oh look. That molly is right there. Now the trap is set. We're gonna start working our way down this canal and probably also work our way to the other side where there's a lot more water, a lot more open space where we could potentially catch more stuff. The water clarity in here is actually really good. Although this stuff is super sketch. There is a lot of fish, however, hiding down here. It's just a question of how do I act? Oh, big cichlids, big sick. I wanna try to catch those. I have no idea what those were, but this net, worst case scenario, guys, we got a second one. We're gonna try to sort through this stuff. This garbage is like pretty disgusting, but the slab of stuff just landed right here. So we'll poke around in here, see if we can see any fish. I don't think we got anything in this net. No issue, we just keep on keeping on. I'm gonna try to net under this stuff. Oh God, this stuff. Oh, look at all those mollies. Okay, so there's actually a good amount of fish in here. We'll try to take big nets like this. Oh, we're stuck on some wood. Please, please give me my net back. Oh, God, we got a fat slab of stuff right here. Let's see what we caught. Hopefully something, if anything at all. Ew, this is such silty mud in this net. It's really cool. Ew, <laughs> but it picks up all this stuff. This is a really good shrimping net. Ooh, look at this. There's a garami in here. Oh, ew, don't kick up the mud in my face, please. 
Guys, look. Wow. Look at this Garami. This thing is gorgeous. However, we also don't have a place to keep this guy. So <laughs> odds are we're probably just going to put him back. But if you guys know what kind of Garami this is, let me know. I don't think I've actually caught one like this. This looks pretty natural. Anybody else in here? No, <laughs> doesn't seem so. Ew. But sick little Garami. We're going to add him back into the water. I really want to track down that big school of mollies. I see a bunch of little ones floating around everywhere down here. Oh, oh, there could be a bunch down here. Let's get a few nets in this little area to see if we can't pull any up. Oh, look. Oh, man, there's some more of them. This spot is actually really cool. I mean, it's kind of sketchy, just saying, because it's like an abandoned golf course. But look at all these little fish. Our trap should do really well at this location. Let's see. Any keepers? Oh, yeah, look. We were successful in catching. Oh, my God. This molly is huge. Look at the belly on her. We're definitely going to get her back. She's definitely a breeding molly right here so we're gonna put her back in the water asap any more friends oh nice another big molly right here oh two more nice these things are ginormous mollies right here guys so we're gonna get all these added back in the canal after a couple more nets guys we're definitely gonna start trying to fish that side of the canal and probably in the middle too. i could see so many fish it's always pretty frustrating to be able to see them all and then not being able to catch as many as you see. Oh, ooh, that one's got stripes. I don't know what that was. I don't even, I don't know if you guys could even see that, but there's literally hundreds of these mosquito fish and mollies rolling around here. Oh, that was a really good net. Ew, what did I just stir up? What is all these suds? Look how fine this net is. It captures literally everything. So even the tiny, tiny little fish we could pick up with it, it's pretty great. Let's see, anything in this net? Ew, ew, ew. This stuff is gross. <laughs> ew. It's literally straight, straight muck. We haven't targeted this little pad right here. Ugh, gross. Again, so many suds. This, I need a shower. I need a shower so bad. Try my best to block the wind as well. Anybody? No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. That's a water bug. Gross. Oh, I got to be careful now. My number one enemy is in this water. I'm not seeing anything out of that net either. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was so gross. Oh, look at all the fishes. Oh, that was a good net. That was a really good net. I'll see if I can try to get a couple nets in each of them just because I keep seeing fish, but it's kind of hard to catch them. Like, <laughs> It's really hard to catch. Oh, this is so heavy now. I gotta be very careful not to break this net. I genuinely try not to break the nets, but you know, I am kind of brawlic. Boom, ew. Come on, please. Get oh, I see some movement in here. Oh, what are you? Wow, what is that? Look at you. Aren't you a funky little guy? This might be a little Midas cichlid or something. I'm not really too sure, but he does have a lot more color than a lot of the little cichlids I've been seeing. So we might actually get this guy in a bucket just cause he's a little funky. Well, look at the golds on them. I wish I had a little cichlid tank I could put them in, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna throw them back simply because um, I have nowhere to keep them. So I might as well just leave them be, right? Oh, we got some mosquito fish in here as well. Some little dudes. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about just snatching you up out of your home. Your home, boys crack. Not seeing anything else exotic in here. We'll get all these mosquito fish back in the water and we'll get him back in the water as well. Oh no. <laughs> The rain might be rolling in. Luckily, you know, since it's summer, usually it passes through pretty quick. We've been giving this side of the canal a lot of love, however, so we're probably going to pick up the net and start fishing the other side of the canal. I'll try to find, like, access points. Because this side of the canal, it's a lot more open, but it also has a lot more cover in it. And the thing is, though, it's like all this brush and stuff, it's going to be very hard. Ooh, oh, God. What, oh, that could have been a gator. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hopefully not. But it's going to be very hard to actually access all of this. Right here, I could probably manage and right there I definitely can so we're gonna try our best to fish this side of the canal as well and maybe check out that tunnel down there this is like all the grass we'll do our best to fish this stuff as well oh I see some little fishes in there I don't think I see oh ew look at all the bugs ew oh god no I'm not seeing any fish in here just a load of bugs gross Please get out of my net. Please get out of my net. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I was just in a spider web. Oh, please leave me alone. There's spiders everywhere over here. And this net is bending in ways it shouldn't be. So I should probably stop fishing with it the way I am. But we got some little fishes in here. Oh, oh. oh okay. Some tiny microscopic killifish. Some mosquito fish. A bunch of bugs. 
Nothing we necessarily want to keep. This guy just asked me for a drink. Pretty strange. I ended up giving him my drink. I gave him a, you know, basically an Arnold Palmer because, you know, whenever homeless people ask me for stuff, I always give it to him just cause. But he was like talking in like a proper British accent. He was like, would you have a drink for me, sir? I am very thirsty. And I figured this guy's probably unstable. So I don't feel like fighting a crackhead right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up soon because I don't want to run into him again. Right now he's in a good mood, just like vibing out, listening to his music or whatever. But I don't want to run into any more of them because I am alone. So honestly, guys, we're gonna fish around a little bit longer and then pull the fish trap, just in case this guy's pausing. He might be turning around. If he turns around, we're just leaving. We're getting in the car and we're leaving. But we'll pick up the net, see what else is happening. Oh, oh, there's a little puddle here with some tadpoles. See if we could scoop. Oh. See if we could catch them up and get them into the pond. But honestly, guys. Okay, I just checked down the canal and he, he kept walking. So we'll go down here, but I'm gonna try to do my best. But I'm gonna try to do my best to stay near the corridor just in the event. Yeah, okay, so he's still walking. But it's just because like worst case scenario, I just drop everything, get in the car and drive away. Um, as he walked up on me, I didn't even hear him because I was too busy fishing. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that guy. And hopefully no more friends from the abandoned golf course country club come down. But this net is also, oh, I think we just got one. Oh, sick. Okay, we just got a little tadpole right here. This net pocket is so deep that I could actually probably catch a few more of these guys in the same net. This could even run under the canal, like under this dirt patch, into the other side. So if we can't catch all of them out of here, um, I don't think it's a big deal. There seems to be a little like rock crop cropping right here that I can't actually can't actually reach. But okay, so we got one of the tadpoles out of here. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna spend too much more time here anyway. Guys, I don't know if you know me, but when it comes to like being out in public and weird stuff, weird people and all that stuff, I don't take chances. Literally the second something feels weird as is off, I'm gone. I don't care what we're doing. I don't care what it is. I don't, I don't care. If there's something strange, I'm out of there. I'm gone. So we're gonna pull the fish trap up right now. Hopefully we caught a lot of fish in, in it. The canal overall, the abandoned golf course has been pretty good to me, but mm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not scared actually. Not low key though, that guy was like 6'3, 6'4. So he could probably, I mean, it would be a hard fight. It would be a hard fight. And he's he's on those super supplements. He's on, he's enhanced right now. <laughs> I mean, if, I, I, if it comes to a random person in the street, I, I'm, I'm gonna fight dirty. I'm fighting dirty. I don't care. But, anyways, we're gonna check the fish trap. Because of uh, current circumstances and me being sketched out, we're gonna do this fish trap pull a little bit differently. I'm just gonna pull the trap up. Nothing like crazy. I'm just gonna pull the trap up. I see a molly outside of the trap right now. Look, there's a molly sitting right there. So, I also see some movement in the trap, but we're just gonna pull this trap up and bring it right on the concrete. I actually care at the moment. I'm kind of just sketched out. But we're gonna just pull this up here and see what we got in here. I'm probably not gonna keep be keeping anything. I don't know. It really just depends on what we find in here. I don't have any water in the. Oh, it's one of these cichlids we're basically just gonna pick these guys up and throw them back in. yeah these are definitely little red devils and midas really cool little fish oh buddy please stop but we're just gonna get him back in the water what do we got here oh my god <laughs> we didn't catch any little mines but we got a big mine right here throw him back in the canal oh look more cichlids okay so this canal's got cichlids and little cool little nano fish but we're gonna get this eastern happy cichlid the happy easter cichlid back in the water as well picking up everything out of the trap and just putting it right back in the water because i'm trying to do this as fast as i humanly can you know what i'm gonna get some water in a bucket and just dump them in it and we got <laughs> me don't worry eastern happies and some mollies right here some big guys and we're gonna get some water in this bucket and get everything into it boom perfect hopefully the camera stays put Oh my god, there was a huge spider on me. But we're just gonna dump all of these guys out into this bucket right here. Because I'm really trying to just leave, to be honest with you. But we'll see if there's anything left in the trap. Don't believe there's anything left in the trap, guys. So we'll come right here and check it out. So we got right here another molly. I'm pretty much just gonna do the rapid fire. We got some of these guys, these little Daniels. Actually, we might hold on to those. I think I could keep those. We got some mollies here. We got a lot of fish in here. Another Eastern Happy and some molly. Throw them back. Let's see, let's see. Oh, are these more garami? Let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Some more garami, we're gonna put these guys back as well because we can't keep them. Let's see, Molly. Oh, <laughs> we got another garami right here. Let's see, what are you? Another Molly. I'm just looking at the bigger fish right now, 
Sure, kid's trying to get these guys out real fast. Another molly. We got another molly right here. If you guys don't like this style, just let me know, and I'll just uh, stick around for sketchy situations <laughs> more often. Oh, another molly. Oh my god, I'm tired of the molly. Let's see. What do we got right here? Oh, a bluegill. That was the first one of the day, but I see him. Another garami right here. Boom, we're gonna get him back in the canal right now. And then at the bottom here, we got these cichlids. We caught a few of these already, but look at this. Okay, so I'm not actually entirely too sure what they are. They got some interesting colors on them, but we're gonna get them back in the water as well. Let's see, let's get these guys out of here. I think the rest are dan- Oh, wow, he's got some great- I wish I had a cichlid tank for these guys, but I don't. Very nice little guy. They are all the same. And I think the rest of these little fish guys are actually a bunch of little danios. If you look at them, these are some beauties. The abandoned golf course water system, pretty interesting, but also kind of sketch given that we did have a couple encounters with the homeless. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. If you want to see more videos at the abandoned golf course ponds, let me know. It'll be very weird. It'll be very sketchy for me, but if you want to see it happen, I'll make it happen if you leave a like and subscribe. But that is it for today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.